Hello guys, so here you have uh, Ostram Nightbreaker Laser H7 bulb. It even got that cool text there on the side that says Nightbreaker. Of course it's not a laser or anything like that inside, but they call it laser. And they say it will have up to 200% brightness. Which is not really true. And here we have a shipper bulb. This is uh, a bulb that's got uh, like no famous or known brand, but it still got the certifications to meet the standards. But I just wanted to test the brightness differences between those two. And also I have tested them and this is the laser is brighter. But why is it maybe brighter? And I was also thinking, even if it's brighter, maybe it will dim down much quicker since uh, it's supposed to be uh, brighter and then maybe uh, it takes more out of the bulb and it will degrade faster. So I just wanted to have a short uh, endurance test on this to see if it can keep the brightness over some time and not just die out really quickly. So here we can see the brand new Ostrom Nightbreaker bulb running and we can see it's at 4.29 amps at 13.88 volts. So to calculate the watts out of the bulb you just multiply 13.8 with the amperage for 2.8 which turns out to be 59 uh, watts of power of the brand new uh, Nightbreaker bulb. Uh, here we have the cheaper bulb and it's running at basically the same. So if everything else were to be the same, this should be the same brightness when new. But let's see the brightness of these brand new bulbs. So what this thing here is an uh, integrated sphere. This here is homemade because if you were to get a real one like this, you would have to maybe pay $5,000 to get a good one. I've seen a lot of guys using those really small ones. I don't really believe those works any good. And the, the measurements everybody gets out of them uh, are just false in my opinion. People are then claiming that the 1000 lumen halogen bulb is uh, 3000 lumens and maybe a 2000 lumen bulb, a uh, LED bulb is like 10,000 lumens, so that's just wrong. But this here it will not give um, exact lumen readings, but testing the same type of bulbs with uh, exactly the same types of uh, design. It gives a really good measurement in my opinion looking at the difference in brightness between the two bulbs and uh, this here is white on the inside and it's just like bouncing the lights around and then uh, getting it to the sensor so and there's also like a baffle plate that is blocking a light directly shining into the sensor so here we can see the cheaper bulb is running at uh, 13.8 volts and it gives out around 12.1 Kalux or 12,100 brand new cheap standard bulb. So here we have the brand new uh, Nightbreak bulb again and this here is around 14 Kalux so it's definitely brighter but of course it's not 200% more brighter. That's more of a marketing term. But let's test now the 60, uh, the 60 some hour bulb and see if there's have been a big degradation and if the differences will be smaller with uh, a bulb that is a little bit worn down. So this is actually three days and just doing the calculation 72 hours. And it's a little less brighter, but the difference is not too big, which I think is good at this kind of hours. Of course, 70 hours is not much compared to like a xenon bulb, but the degradation was less than I would have thought. 
So this here is the 72 hour bulb and we can see the tungsten coil got a little bit like of degradation to it. It got some like uneven bumps like in the coil. But after 72 hours we saw a loss of 2.85% and I think these kinds of bulb are rated at the lifetime at um, 300 hours or so, so it's not really that long. And halogen bulbs, they are supposed to like keep 95% of the uh, brightness until they die. I don't really believe that is fully true, but in, in this experiment it uh, really doesn't have too big of a degradation. But also some of the factors that maybe made this test uh, not correct and you will have bigger degradation in real life is that I didn't put this through a lot of different heat cycles. I think it will worn the bulb down much faster if you like turn it on a thousand times versus ten times because every time you put uh, heat into the metal is maybe going to degrade somewhat and also when you have it in the car the filament you see it's a really small uh, wire and when this is heated up it doesn't have too much uh, strength to it so and of course in the car you have a lot of shakes and stuff so that will also make this degrade a little bit faster in the car but three percent loss maybe after 72 hours which was not too bad in my opinion and uh, compared to the standard bulb when they were brand new it's not 200 percent brighter but in this case it was 16.5 percent brighter but then again, this cost like uh, almost uh, five to ten times more than your standard bulb. So yeah, but it's an upgrade, I would say, and of course you get some thing for the upgraded price as well. So I also wanted to include this image here. It's the comparison between the two same bulbs in a low beam uh, European reflector, freeform reflector from Opal or Voxel headlight, H7 low beam. And these are, uh, both of them were brand new at this point. And keep in mind, I can't really align everything perfectly. So some mistakes and differences will be made because of that. And also, uh, yeah, I'll just keep that in mind. But overall, we can see that the Nightbreaker laser was overall much brighter, or at least brighter. And uh, when we saw at like the previous reading in the integrated sphere, we could see that the Austrian bulb was not too much brighter. But I think that when you compare it in a low beam reflector or in a reflector, in any case, uh, you will see a bigger difference. And I think that is because they put more energy into uh, designing the coil to get into the right place and have the right size and such. So you get most out of your uh, reflectors. So you have the, maybe somewhat the same light but it's more depending on how you put the light into the reflector for it to uh, get the light in the correct places. And all of these dots here is basically uh, what the OEM manufacturers of bulbs and headlights like used to uh, test at different places. Of course, they, their methods are much more complicated and uh, better to get some better readings, but uh, these are at fairly the same points and it gives a uh, okay in my opinion reading of the difference between the two bulbs and overall we can see here that um, Nightbreak laser of course is an upgrade and is it worth the money? That is something you should maybe conclude yourself so Let's ramble for four, three, two, one, some seconds more. 
I'm not usually doing this, but yeah, let's keep this video over 10 minutes and see if that makes any difference. 